everyone welcome back to my channel so today I have a special guest and this is my cousin Kayla and she's going to a party tonight a Halloween party so I figured I would make her all pretty and glammed up so she can have a good time and look good and if you guys want to know how I got her all glammed up keep watching all right so first I'm just gonna be going in with the color soft okra in the Mac prolonged paint Wap pot and it's just a really pretty um concealer that i like to prime everyone's eyelids with including my own and it is really really good at uh, covering up anything you have if you have veins on your eyelids or anything and next i'm just going to be setting that with the rcma powder you always want to set it with powder so you don't have any lines or creasing when you put your eyeshadow on now i'm just going to be going in with the jaclyn hill palette and my favorite 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 transition color is the color pukey i know it's a weird name but it's just a really really pretty caramel almost like a light brown color that you can really go any way with and i just like to put it in the transition area only and i like to work it down in the outer corner so i can start to build that color up Next, I'm just going to be going in with the color Roxanne in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to be going in with a smaller transition brush. And I'm just going to put this all over her transition area, but not as far up because I do want to see the pukey color at the very top. And now I'm just going to be going in with the color Jax with my crease brush. And I'm just going to start this off in her crease only. And I'm just going to build that color and build that dimension so it'll look really, really pretty in the end. And I will drag this color down on her outer corner as well because I just think it helps give a lot of dimension. Now I'm just going to be grabbing my Kylie Jenner Burgundy palette and I'm just going to grab the color in the middle and it's a really really red color. I believe the name is Burgundy for that color and I'm just going to put this on her eyelid only in the middle. For the look that I'm going for I do want a pop of red in there but I only want it to be kind of subtle and not be so so bright so I didn't wet my brush or anything I'm just using a normal brush and now I'm just going to be getting the color um, beam in the Jaclyn Hill palette and this is a really really pretty white I do want the inner corners of her eyes to be very bright so they can just pop and look good and I think the beam bloomed, blended really well with the red as well I thought it looked really really good together now I'm just going to be going in with my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner and it is waterproof as well and I love, love, love this eyeliner especially to use on clients because it has a really hard felt pencil. It's not going to bend that much and it just helps me get that really, really good, crisp, smooth line on clients because if you use a non-felt pencil and it just kind of like bends too much, it's really, really hard to use on other people. And I um, put on the lashes in the brand Kiss in the number 11. These are just really subtle eyelashes. They're not too, too noticeable. You're not going to be able to look at her and be like, oh my gosh, she has eyelashes on. <laughs> They're just really subtle, and I think they look really pretty on Kayla. And I did grab some concealer and a really flat brush so I could um, um, clean up her eyelid a little bit. I wanted to have a really nice crisp line on the corner so it was a... Oh, a really dramatic cat, cat eye and that's what I was going for with her look today and it also helps for me to pave the way to put highlighter on her eyebrow bone as well and I do love this brush to use that for now I'm just gonna be using a brush to put her foundation on first I she did bring her own foundation and it was Estee Lauder double wear for those of you who want to know um, she brought me two different colors a darker color and a lighter color because they were the only ends they had and she is a more neutral skin tone so I just mixed those colors and I put them on her. Next I just used my beauty blender because as you all know beauty blenders are amazing at making your foundation look like skin and just really really pretty and glowy and I did grab a little bit more of her foundation because I did want to get a little bit more coverage on her freckles and cover those up and make it look really good. And you guys know my trick with con coconut oil. I always put it under my eyes before I put my concealer on. It's my all-time favorite thing to do. It makes your concealer go on really, really nice and pretty. And you will not have crease in. And I just love it. Especially using Tarte Shape Tape because Tarte Shape Tape is a little bit drying. And I did use the color sand in the Tarte Tape Shape on um, Kayla. And I'm just going to be going in with my Beauty Blender and blending that out so she has no lines. And I did put the concealer on her nose a little bit on the edges because I do want that to help me contour and I feel like that is the ultimate way to get those shadows gone and really nice and clean and cut. And I do like to drag my concealer out all the way to the hairline as you guys can see 
because um, that's where the shadow falls and most people will kind of stop. So I do draw my concealer in a triangle and work it all the way out. Now I'm just going to be going in with the RCMA powder and I will use the Beauty Blender on her under eyes and her nose and also her chin and maybe a little bit on the middle of her forehead because that is my way of baking and it will create a way for her to not get oily. I put that in her oily spots and I use the brush for um, everywhere else because the rest of her face won't get that much oily because she doesn't have oily skin or else I probably would do it all over her face. Now I'm just going to be getting my Benefit Cheek Parade palette, my favorite palette ever for um, cheeks and bronzing. And I'm just going to get the color in Hoola. I use the re regular Hoola instead of the dark Hoola, I mean the light Hoola because it looks really, really pretty with her skin tone. And I think it'll look really pretty because she will be going out at night. So I just wanted to make her look really nice and contoured. And I did get a more precise contour brush as you guys can see to contour her cheeks with. Now I'm going to be going in with the Ofra in the color Rodeo Drive, my favorite highlighter. And I'm just going to go ahead and highlight her brow bone before I forget because a lot of times I forget, just to be honest. Now I'm just going to be grabbing the color California for blush. And I'm just going to be putting that on her cheeks. And this is a more peaky peach blush. It does have an undertone of orange in it. And I just love, love, love this color. And it does smell like Tropical Sunrise on the plus side. Now I'm just going to be cleaning up her contour with my baking brush. And as you can see, I'm just going to be drying on those lines right up under her contour. And I'm also going to be using it on her nose as well because I do not want to have that shadow on the sides of her nose, which is why I put concealer there as well. And this will help bake that and help it sit. And I will let this sit on her face and brush it off towards the end. Now I'm just going to be going in with my Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive and I'm going to be using that on her cheeks. This is the best highlighter ever, and I'm going to put a little bit on her chin as well and on her nose. Um, this is not a subtle highlighter at all for those of you guys that want to know. This is a more popping highlighter. You could use a little, bit of, a little bit of it for it to be more subtle, but it is really, really pigmented, so it's hard for it to come off subtle. It's just a really popping glazed donut highlighter. Now I'm just going to be picking up my flat brush and I'm just going to be mimicking her eyeshadow that I did on the top and I'm going to be putting that on the bottom as well and I'm going in with the color pukey first and I'm just going to put that all over her lower lash line and then I will go in with the color Roxanne and I will put that on the outer corner and I'll work that way probably to the middle and then I stop. Now I'm just going to be using the Maybelline in the color Plum Perfect. This is a dark, dark lipstick, but when I do use a brush, it does come off a little bit lighter than what it really is. And I just like to use that to contour her lips because I am doing red lips for her, as you guys can see. But this is the darker red that I will be using on the outer of her lips before I put that bright red on the middle. And the bright red that I used in the middle of her lips is called Red Revival, and it is also by Maybelline. They're really, really pretty and pigmented, and if I would have just straight up put the lipstick on her lips, it would have come off a lot more bright, but I do like to use a brush on clients to make it a lot more precise. Now I'm just going to go back in the same brush that I cleaned up my eyebrows with, and I'm just going to be cleaning up her lipstick with, up with because red lipstick will stain, and it's kind of hard to clean it up, but I just like to use that brush to get it really nice and straight. Now I'm just going to be going in with the mascara, and this is the Maybelline, and this one is the Spider Effect, I believe. This is my favorite mascara, Drugstore. It's one of my favorites. Anyway, I love, love, love it. And I'm just going to make the her regular eyelashes blend in with her fake eyelashes. And I did notice um, afterwards that I missed a spot where you can see where, I guess, powder or something got in her eyelashes, and I wish I would have fixed that, but oh well, we all make mistakes, right? Alright, and next I'm just going to be using my Morphe Setting Spray. I'm just going to be spraying that everywhere. Yes, honey, it looks so, so good. This is the final look of her um, going out glam, I guess I can call it. And um, I just think it was really pretty. And if you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel and also comment down below and let me know what you would like to see next. Alright, you guys, thanks for watching. Bye.